so guys IRCC held yet another express entry draw today this was draw number 292 and in a very few short sentence I can tell you that you're not going to like it guys uh, in today's video we will discuss the express entry draw which has gone up the CRS scores in terms of cutoffs totally the opposite of what we were expecting and also in this video, we will talk about how the pool is reacting and how the pool is uh, you know, looking at when we are waiting for another round of express entry draw, probably a STEM trade later in this week. So guys, uh, please be sure to watch the video till the end. My name is Sahil. Guys, welcome back once again. My name is Sahil and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and I practice here in Ontario. My office is here. If you have to get in touch with me, my number is on the screen and the details are there in the description box. More than happy to connect with you. Before we proceed any further, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because we talk a lot about Canadian immigration. And if you are an aspirant of moving to Canada, then this is a channel that you must be subscribed to all the time. So guys, we are discussing the latest express entry draw that was held today, which is April the 10th of 2024. Uh, this was draw number 292. Now, this is totally opposite of what we were, you know, expecting, what we were thinking that it would be because IRCC or in fact, the whole world at this moment is expecting uh, lower cutoffs, lower CRS cutoffs from IRCC. But on the contrary, IRCC has other plans. First, let's look at the draw and then we'll try to analyze what's really happened. Now, if you look at the draw today, uh, this was uh, draw number 292. Like I said, only 1,280 people were invited and the CRS, the lowest CRS cutoff was kept at 549. Now, uh, if you look at the previous rounds of invitations, is, which is here, the last draw was on March 26, which was French, again at 388. But the general draw was more than this. This was 524. If you look at the other general draw, 2850 uh, invitations at 525. The only highest draw so far, uh, you know, for this particular year, would be here um, on 546 and with today's draw coming into the picture um, it has by far crossed the highest draw of the year 2024 now guys uh, overall the pool uh, is looking uh, on a higher side because the last week that we held the uh, you know the uh, the analysis that we did last week it was sitting at close to 211000 this week the pool somehow has gone up. So um, last week, between last week and this week, it's about a 5,000 people jump. And obviously, uh, to account for would be the people who were invited in the previous draw. So, but then yes, you know, um, let's just have a look at the pool at the moment. Um, for people above 500, there are close to 13,000 people, like more than that, right? And then um, if you look at... 491 and 500 itself there are close to 9000 people so this number by itself is talking volumes that you know the the pool is now it's like more people have been added to the pool um this could be because uh recently um like in the month of november and december ontario had sent out human capital invitations and all those files when got you know approved by ontario recently uh, would now be you know adding up to the number between 500 and 1200 so that could be one of the probable reasons um, but the thing here to note is that IRCC could have diminished this effect if they could have invited a larger draw like uh, typically if you look at a score of 549 this kind of a score is not possible for uh, you know usually for people without um, Canadian experience, very good IL score um, would be with you know an LMIA 50 points or whatsoever. Then also this kind of a score is hard to get, like it's top 1% or even less than that. So it's primarily a PNP draw in disguise of a general draw. So IRCC did become, try to be humble in terms of their word, words by calling it a general draw. But honestly, it is not a general draw. It is more like a um, you know, a PNP draw because PNP by itself is 600 points. 
So how many people do you think would be in the pool between 549 and 600, right? So general, it'll be very, very less people. I think mostly people with 200 points LMIAs or maybe with French and a CLB 10, that would be the, you know, the folk, the point that will be sitting here. Otherwise, it is not really easy to get this sort of a score. Um, overall, I think, um, you know, uh, IRCC should focus on bringing in uh, people from the general category also because the world overall is watching and the world is waiting for you know um, Canada to really uh, its draws. Uh, on the other hand, if you if you remember recently, the immigration minister held a press conference and he was talking about converting uh, you know domestic workers into uh, permanent residents. I I think this could be a strategy that IRCC would want to follow during this year so that. They can save up quota for people to land maybe next year. Uh, they could be planning on the hindsight. They could be planning for uh, a CC draw or TR to PR pathway like a program or anything. But um, the only other reasonable expect you know explanation to the situation would be that IRCC is planning a larger uh, uh, draw for people inside Canada. That's the only other explanation that I can think of. But honestly, at this moment, we are all lost on words. Um, because we don't have any clear communication from IRCC as to why are they inviting only 1,280 people when there's an approximate quota of over 50,000 left, right? So a little less than 50,000, but still that's a larger quota, right? So if you don't invite people, um, you know, regularly, then you might be saving up to build a corpus and that would be a CC draw. So these are all, you know, expectations. These are all prospects. So let's see how the prospects turn out. But as far as today's draw is concerned, people, you have 60 days to upload your documents. If you need any help in, uh, you know, doing your paperwork, if you need any help in setting up your files, do let us know. We would be more than happy to connect with you and help you on your file. And uh, just in case, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the videos and share with your friends. And until then, we wish you all the best and we really hope to see you soon in Canada. All the best.